Right, so today we're making a, a camouflage wrap for a DMR or any kind of rifle really, but we'll just call it a DMR because that's what I intend to use this one for. Um, so you're going to need first is some jute burlap or whatever you want to call it. Um, cut to the length you want. So pretty self-explanatory. There's your gun, there's your burlap. Same lead. So first we need to make a couple of cuts. We need to be able to see out of this thing, so here's my scope. Now take a knife or scissors to the waist. Just gotta check those. Now we can see. That's our shape. Hot glue. Simply run it along your seam. We're going to need some of these red colors covers after, so uh, make sure you have those. We have our basic cover done. Simple as that. That's our basic shape. A little bit refining too, obviously. But now we're going to see how we're going to attach this to the gun. The way I want to attach it, the way I do attach it, is using these simple little rubber rail covers. And if you've got some rail on your gun, Put that there. We can attach that rail cover to the burlap, to the wrap, by drilling holes in it. So they're 100 mil by two and a half mil, and you'll get them on eBay or skirm shop sell them. So, put in one end. None of this is uh, rocket science, folks. So, I'll just show you one or two and I'll uh, fast forward the rest because you don't need to see it all in real time. Now, what you can do is you can bring out the other end, just make a bigger hole for the locking end. Right there. Leave the tail, you're going to use that after. Um, they're going to come in very handy later on. So don't cut them off. Oh, 
This line here is too straight. So I'm just going to take the knife. Right, what we have here is our regular cheap Chinese uh, maple leaf. Most of you will be familiar with these if you've done any bit of crafting at all, especially if you're members of the Sniper Ox group on Facebook. If you're not a member, go join it. Loads of information there and tips. These have been dyed with eye dye poly. Uh, as you can see, they're a bit tidy looking. So we're going to burn these with a lighter, if I can find it. There it is. I'd advise doing this in a shed or outside if it's calm, but definitely in a shed or a garage or something because this stuff is fucking putrid. Just rag them up a bit. I won't make you sit through this, so we'll just uh, do one more. Actually, you know what? A candle is a better job for this, so I'm going to nip off and get a candle. my base leaves so these are basically the stuff you're going to find on the ground in uh, in the woods or whatever sorry there. now pretty fucking simple glue leaf sorry the glue is a little bit hot Now what I've also got is some of this Jack Pike camo blind, uh, shooting camo blind, and that actually came backed with this stuff. So if you can find them online and you have the patience to unpick all the stitching, you actually end up with two different types of material. One that's see-through, mesh, and one that's solid color. That's, oh shit. It's uh, perforated as well, like leafy stuff. So it's actually quite decent once you break it up. Yes. 
All right, so what I've done, I've made a uh, scope shade from a plastic tube, some burlap. There's a uh, spray glued onto it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a piece of Velcro on the inside so I can pop it on there like that. And then when we put our wrap on, Like that, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to glue some of this net over the front, like that. That's what we're going to do next. Maybe <coughs> just remember, I had some real moss, just scraped it off some um, timbers that were here. So I'm going to add that because you're just not going to get that color artificially. This is a uh, contact adhesive. Um, you'll find it in carpet shops or home improvement places as well. I find it very good for the for the moss. Some on the burlap, some on the moss, and press down, and that's it. Actually. Better get a bit tacky. Now we're going to add uh, some ivy. We're going to cable tie this on. Uh, I'm just going to cut it all off the stems first. Now, uh, kind of happy enough with where we are at the moment. We've got the base done, so now we need to add some dry grass or uh, raffia, but it's a bit bright, so I'm just going to give it a quick spray. do the ivy is going to try and make I suppose a trail <clears throat> make it look like it's a vine so 
So remember I said earlier about leaving the tails of the cable ties. Take a leaf, fake one, you have a hole in them. Pop it over the cable tie, bring it down. Perfect. I'm not going to put too much here. This is the inside of the butt stock. So that's where your uh, your face would be. So I'm going to leave that plain enough. There's no need. Um, all your head camo and everything is going to take care of that. Um, a little bit more down here. Same on the other side. And then I'll put it on the gun and see where exactly is missing. some elastic on the back here just on the bottom to keep this from wiggling around and I might even thinking about it there I might put a pouch in here to hold the battery pack so if you do want to run a camera that might be an idea but first we'll secure this to the buttstock and um, yeah so I'm just going to take this off the gun and uh, get on with it Next for this. So if you here's our end of a cable tie. Use it to hold the leaf. And if you want to lock that in place use another cable tie. the right way around. Just like that. I'm gonna see what some of this uh, grass looks like well. Just missing a bit of bright green.
pheasant feathers. If you can get them legitimately from roadkill or just fallen, picked up feathers from the forest floor, they're great. They've got great colours, all natural. Can't fake that. Secure that with a cable tie as well. Okay, for securing the buttstock to the rifle, I'm going to use this. It is, sorry, there. It's the strap off a Face Pro, a lower wire mesh that I don't need anymore. So that's what we're going to use. It's perfect. Right, so we're back. Um, I've got my power bank put in one of these elastic M4 or a magazine holster, whole or a magazine pouch. So we're going to tread this mounted there like that, covered, easy peasy. So, wrap is pretty much finished. So I'm just gonna show you how it goes on. Goes on from the back first. <coughs> so, best way like this, just to show you. Side clip or front clip. Same on the other side. Front. Remember a little bit of Velcro. 
and the back here again. Okay. Done. All the controls are accessible. So that's it. One the MR, get your mat. No paint for those of you. Oh, I almost forgot. In the front. Our uh, scope hider. Hope you enjoyed that lads, uh, like, subscribe, comment if you like it, if you don't like it, comment, I just won't fucking read them. <laughs>